This week in the crazy world of AI, a killer robot that do windows, a lethal AI chopper just delivered your pizza, Google decided that Christmas comes early, I suck at my own game, and Yoda inhales. Ready to catch the next wave? My name is Eli and I'm here to get you up to speed with the latest on the AI revolution, making sure you'll be a part of it, one vibe at a time. Let's get going. Mindon has partnered with Unitree, the robotics company. They added their AI into the Unitree G1 robot and turned a killer robot that does Kung Fu moves into a maid. You can see it, a robot doing all kinds of chores around the house and interacting with the family. And to be honest, who wouldn't want to buy a killer robot like this? Now our fun with Unitree doesn't stop there. Unitree already released a video of the G-Run robot playing basketball, doing jump shots. It's quite impressive. I wonder how soon it will be for us to see a basketball league of robots. That will truly become a competition of human ingenuity. And lastly, a video of Unitree walking the shopping malls have racked up millions of views. Overall, super exciting week for Unitree. Lockheed Martin has released a new chopper. This helicopter works with AI and can support soldiers while in action. It's controlled by a tablet and it uses AI in order to make sure it gets quickly to their destination and transporting different types of ammunition and other technical gear. It can carry over 10,000 pounds and have an external lift is delivering pizza to soldiers in the middle of the heat of the battle is the right thing? You know, what happens if the pizza has pineapple on it? <laughs> Think about that. Sunday Robotics introduced a new robot called Act 1. Now this new robot is quite unique. Up until now, all the robots that we've seen are working through different simulations and rely heavily on teleoperation. I have a full video explaining what teleoperation is but the short summary is that it's a way to teach the robots what to do based on visual cues or wearing all kinds of machines where the operator is inside the same room as the robot. What's unique about Sunday Robotics is that they invented a pair of gloves and you distribute them to a bunch of people and you let them carry on with their lives and do their daily chores like like cooking or cleaning or putting their dishes in the dishwasher and then all of this information is sent back to the lab so then the robots can use that information aggregate what is the level of sensitivity it needs and then interpret how to act in reality now what's amazing about that is that from a scalability perspective it's a lot easier to send gloves to 1000 people rather than to bring 1,000 people to 1,000 robots and have them teach the robot. So as you can see, this is going to help this robot potentially become the leading in terms of how quickly it learns and implement the day-to-day -day chores that is very hard to usually teach robots. We'll be keeping an eye on this company and its robots as they get closer and closer to production. Now, Google had quite impressive two weeks with a few amazing releases. The first two we're going to cover are Gemini 3.0 and Nano Banana 2, or as they like to call it, Nano Banana Pro. Now, this new model has better prompt adherence, and that means that it will understand better what you're trying to achieve or create when you're prompting it for an image. It supports multiple languages. The quality has been ramped up. So you're not gonna get gibberish anymore when you're trying to type some text. And it has the ability to analyze a picture and then derive information using AI in order to bring it back to the photo. And that was quite amazing. Now this model supports combining multiple references and those combined into a single image. And the most important part for me personally is the ability to control the aspect ratio. In addition to that, Google has released Gemini 3.0. 
and that's their new state-of-the-art reasoning model. That means that it's outperforming all the other models in all the different benchmarks, and it's a lot more efficient than Gemini 2.5 Pro because it produces better results using fewer tokens in less time. Now, I had a chance to test it in a couple of instances. For starters, I created this simulation of Cabin in 3D, and it managed to do a great job at that. And then I decided to transform it into a video game. And as you can see, this quite complex video game only took me a few prompts and I could already get something that's definitely playable and achievable. In this case, you have this kind of magic archer that needs to release animals from being poisoned. So he shoots the magical arrows. Now for me personally, the more impressive part was actually when I started using it on my phone. So you have the same capabilities. So I actually found myself in a bus starting to create games. And this was quite the experience. I decided to create a game inspired by Flappy Bird called Flappy Bird 3D. It took me just a few minutes and I managed to get it to work. And I can't believe how easy it was. And I created it all on my phone. Now I'm going to create a video that's gonna show you all the steps I took using my phone in order to create this game. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll know when the video is going to come out. So overall, really exciting progress from Gemini. Really recommend to check it out. Anthropic, Microsoft and Nvidia announced partnership with each other. Anthropic is the creator of Claude, which is the most advanced coding model out there. Microsoft is going to provide Azure, which is their cloud infrastructure. And of course, Nvidia is going to provide their Blackwell cards. Now, this is another one of those steps of the AI revolution where everybody's supporting each other and converging and creating partnerships in order to progress each other. Now, while this video they shared, it was mainly a marketing message. There was one interesting sentence that came from Jensen that was really interesting for me to hear. You know, we're seeing uh, three scaling laws happening at the same time. Uh, Pre-training is scaling incredibly well still. Post-training, the more compute you give it, the smarter the AI. And then, of course, inference time scaling, test time scaling. You know, the more the AI thinks, the higher the quality of answer. So what that means is that we are really at the initial stages of the AI revolution. Right now, the more you invest in it, the more you pour into it, the better the models become, the faster they are, the smarter they are, and their ability to deal with complex tasks. That's excellent information. That means that if we can solve things by scaling, that means that the way forward is laid out for us for success. XAI has released Grok 4.1 Fast and the Agent Tools API. What's interesting about this model is this is the first model that has a 2 million tokens context window. That means that it can hold more information and create more complex tasks. Now there's been a lot of information about what it's capable of, but for me the most interesting thing was how someone has created a game in just four hours and the prediction is that by next year, we will be able to create really good games. And the year after that, excellent games that everybody will be able to play. And personally, I believe that that's where the entire industry is moving forward. We're just going to create more games, more high-end official games. And the second part of the announcement was around the agentic tools like search tools, file searches, code execution, and MCP integration. So these are all the capabilities we've been seeing lately where you have a browser and that browser has an agent that searches things for you on Zillow or on Booking.com and order things for you. So this is becoming the standard and the way we are going to consume content through the internet is going to change rapidly in the coming months. Now, this post on Twitter has racked up over 34 million views. That's because it portrays Optimus robots performing an operation while all the people are looking. Now, this is of course an AI generated video, so it's not real, but it came very shortly after Tesla's earning calls where Elon Musk talked about having 
robots replace all of us as human and doing all the work so we don't need to do it ourselves. This is especially interesting after we saw that Ubitech has released the first mass deployment of robots into the workforce. So it's going to be interesting to see how things will develop on this front. Now, this is the last article about Google and it's quite groundbreaking or maybe anti-gravity breaking, not sure, but I promise you it will be worth for you to stick around because then you'll understand how it's going to impact you. And it doesn't matter if you're an engineer or not, you want to stick around and listen. So Google Anti-Gravity is a new IDE, which is a development environment. That's what engineers use in order to code and create new software like servers, application, etc. Now, aside from being the first one from Google, it has agent capabilities, as we saw with other software, but this one also has browser agentic capabilities. And that means that it can interact with the browser and perform clicks and all kinds of actions, whether it's testing your app or your game, so it can have real interaction with it. Now, aside from that, it has a very unique capability that doesn't exist in the other IDEs yet, and that's to it, it has a multi-agentic experience. So if you think of the experience today, you have an agent, uh, you ask it for a task, and it performs the task for you. With the multi-agentic, you can have multiple agents work on the same task. For example, if you're creating an app for flight tracking, then you'll have multiple agents working at the same time, building the app, creating the testing, debugging it, etc. Or you can have multiple agents building multiple apps or parts of the app all together. Now, at the same time, Google also released AI Studio updates. Now, AI Studio is more of the vibe coding experience. And if you've ever created something on Gemini, then you'll feel right at home at AI Studio. Both Gemini and AI Studio is geared more towards people that are less technical or have no technical background at all, and they're helping them perform complex tasks. And Google Anti-Gravity from the other side is taking people that are very capable of complex tasks and simplifying them. And what happens is that both of these ends lead to the same result. You're going to end up with a pure vibe coding experience. So that means that pretty soon all of us are going to be able to create anything we want without relying on any uh, company that will develop the product for us. If you get up in the morning and you feel like you want to play a new game, you don't wait for a company to create it. You just ask the AI and five minutes later, you have the game. You can play it while you're commuting. So overall, a series of impressive releases from Google end to end. And we'll see, the year is not over yet. If you recall, last year, OpenAI had the 12 days of shipments where every day they delivered some new capability up until Christmas. Well, I think in this time around, Google is in the lead and I just don't see the competition. So OpenAI, you really need to step up. And finally, in our fan favorite spot, this time around, we have Star Wars themed music videos. I made a collection of snippets because these are just hilarious. Plus, they have really good music. So let's have a listen. And afterwards, you can, of course, look at the links below for the full version. Yo, it's Lord Vader, dark side invader. I toast my bread with a red lightsaber. Choke out the rebels with a wave of my hand. Dark side commander, I rule this land. I'm 
Your report's full of holes You missed all your police goals But sir, he was slick With his Jedi mind trick What did he say? These aren't the droids you're looking for What did he say? What did he say? Can't trust my eyes anymore What did he say? My decision's gonna make me sick I was Jedi mind trick Oh, you're back! Sorry, this game is very addicting. If you got good vibes from this video, hit the like and subscribe button, and also hit the notification bell while you're at it. Don't forget to keep building, keep learning, and keep the vibes positive. See you in the next one.